standard 7 subject maths today we are going to continue with chapter 6 indices practice set 27 let's learn about square and cube of a number 3 raised to 2 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 This you have already learned in the previous practice set. It is read as three raised to two, or three squared, or the square of three. So when the index is two, we read it as square of that particular number. So three raised to the power of two is read as square of 3 similarly 5 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 5 into 5 into 5 5 is multiplied by itself three times where 5 is the base and 3 is the index and it is read as 5 raised to the power of 3 or 5 raised to 3 this is also read as 5 cubed or the cube of 5 that means when the index is 3 we say that it is the cube of that number okay the cube of 5 the cube of the base remember the second power of any number is the square of that number so second power of 3 is square of 3 and the third power of any number is the cube of that number means 5 raised to 3 is called as cube of 5 so whenever you see the index as 2 you call it square of that given base or given number and when you see the index as 3 you call it as a cube of that given number okay so let us have a look at multiplication of indices with the same base first example 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 3 so what we will do we will multiply 2 by itself four times and again we will multiply 2 by itself three times so when you do that what do you get you get 2 raised to the power of 7 because you can see that 2 is multiplied by itself seven times first four times and then three times and total you get 2 raised to the power of 7 therefore we can say that 2 raised to 4 into 2 raised to 3 is equal to 2 we take common and in bracket we add the index 4 plus 3 so this is equal to 2 raised to 7 okay similarly have a look at second example the base is same the base has to be same if you have to add the index while multiplying the indices so here we have the same base minus 3 into minus 3 minus 3 is raised to the power of 2 into minus 3 is raised to the power of 3 that means usually in the previous set what we have learned that you have to multiply 3 now by itself two times and again there is a multiplication so we multiply minus 3 by itself three more times so total you get minus 3 raised to the power of 5 therefore we can say that minus 3 raised to the power of 2 into minus 3 raised to the power of 3 is equal to minus 3 take common and instead of multiplying you just have to add the index 2 plus 3 is 5 So your final answer minus three raised to the power of five. So what you are doing when you are multiplying indices with the same base, you are keeping the base common and adding the index. Okay, so minus three in the second example remains minus three as your answer. Only index you have to add instead of multiplying it so many times. Just add the index two plus three five. it's that simple but you have to keep in mind the rules without which you will not be able to solve the sums correctly so let's have 
at one more look at one more example minus 2 upon 5 raised to 2 into minus 2 upon 5 raised to 3 that means minus 2 upon 5 you will multiply 2 times again you will multiply 3 times it is as same as minus 2 raised to 5 so therefore minus 2 upon 5 raised to 2 into minus 2 upon 5 raised to 3 is equal to take the base as it is minus 2 upon 5 okay and you will add the index 2 plus 3 here in the second step it's written minus 2 upon 3 it's by mistake it has to be minus 2 upon 5 the base will not change so minus 2 upon 5 raised to 2 plus 3 you are adding the index though the operation is multiplication while when the base is same you can add the index to find the final answer so your final answer is minus 2 upon 5 raised to the power of 5 2 plus 3 is 5 all right so this way we have some examples and what do you know now now I know if A is a rational number that is our base and M and N are positive integers then A raised to M into A raised to N is equal to A remains as it is and you add the positive integers that is your index M plus N. This is your formula. You have to write it very nicely in a box in your book before starting this exercise. So how you will write it? A raised to M into A raised to N is equal to A raised to the power of M plus N. This is your formula. Where A is any rational number. It could be a positive number, negative number, fraction any negative number okay so the base is multiplied by itself and the index you have to add so you keep the base common and index you will add okay so remember this very clearly a raised to m into multiplies there into a raised to n is equal to a remains as it is the base remains as it is and you add the index m plus n so now you are ready to start your practice set 27 question number one you have got six sums all together you have to simplify them let's solve them one by one first sum 7 raised to 4 into 7 raised to 2 is equal to as we studied in the formula 7 remains as it is just add the index 4 plus 2 that gives you a final answer 7 raised to 6 it sounds simple it sounds simple but when you actually have to solve it you might get confused that's why you have to practice this sums all right let's have a look at second sum minus 11 raised to the power of 5 into minus 11 raised to the power of 2 minus 11 remains as it is add the index 5 plus 2 7 so your final answer minus 11 raised to the power of 7 okay so while multiplying indices we add the powers and base is same then it remains as it is third sum this rule is applicable only when the base is same. The base which is multiplied is same. Then only you can add the index. So 6 upon 7 raised to power of 3 into 6 upon 7 raised to the power of 5. Our base is same. So take it common and add the index. 3 plus 5. So final answer 6 upon 7 in bracket raised to the power of 8. Why do we take it in bracket? To show that the power is applicable to both numerator and denominator 6 upon 7 whole raised to 8 so the bracket is also important here fourth sum minus 3 upon 2 raised to the power of 5 into minus 3 upon 2 raised to the power of 3 
minus 3 upon 2 we take common in bracket and add the index 5 plus 3 is 8. So your final answer minus 3 upon 2 raised to the power of 8. Isn't it simple? Yes. Let's have a look at fifth example. A raised to the power of 16 into A raised to power of 7. So don't get confused even if it's alphabet. Only the base has to be same. Then we can apply the formula. So we take A common and add the index. 16 plus 7 is 23. So your final answer A raised to the power of 23. And now the last sum. P upon 5 raised to the power of 3 into P upon 5 raised to the power of 7. Letter and number is together here. So need not worry. Take the base as a common figure here. That is P upon 5 is a common number. The base remains same. Raise to you have to add. Instead of multiplying, we are adding the index. So, 3 plus 7 is 10. So, final answer, P upon 5, which is in bracket, raised to the power of 10. So, this way, we have completed 6 sums on multiplication of indices with same base. And we have also completed a practice set 27. Hope you have understood these sums well. Do practice them for a better understanding. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.